Number one in the country is what every athletic program strives to be, and it's what the Central Lakes College volleyball team has achieved. Sports reporter Anthony Scott tells us why the Raiders are not getting caught up in the hype just yet. When you look up at the wall at Central Lakes College, you see three volleyball national championships. Head coach Jane Peterson has her Raiders ranked number one in the country again, but she doesn't care about the team's ranking at the start of October. If it was the end of the season and we were number one, then that would be something that would be really meaningful to me. Central Lakes College was 17-1 and one entering tonight, and it's not just because of one player. Offensively, we spread the ball out. We don't always rely on the same person, so I think um, defending us is hard because people don't know where the ball is going. In fact, two freshmen, Maggie Fellerman and Sydney Berg, lead the team in kills, and at the junior college level, it's essential for freshmen to step up. At first they were a little shy, of course, you know, this is typical, but they definitely have proven that they, this is their team as well, and a lot of them have stepped up and been great leaders. It's been four weeks since the Raiders were announced as the top team in the nation, but they are not getting caught up in the hype. Today we just focus on who we're playing against, which that is Northland, and to play our best. Just focus on this game and only this game at the moment. We definitely need to remember that we're trying to get better every day, and that's our main focus of practice is we're not just there to maintain, we're trying to get better. But at the end of the day, a national championship is the ultimate goal. That would be amazing. It would be like leaving our legend here. They have the potential to have what it takes. Do they have it right now? No. <laughs> um, so we will be working towards that. But for now, they can enjoy that number one ranking as they make a push towards the national tournament in November. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Taking it one game at a time, and tonight they took home a 3-0 sweep against Northland. So great to see a, a team in our local area making it on the national yeah, stage. A lot of tradition with that team, huh? Definitely. We'll see how, where they go. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.